a San Francisco briefing room download from SeniorDad.com. Copyright 2009, Stan Goldberg, All Rights Reserved. Omar Khalif, an update from Bayview. And now we're talking representation. I have Omar Khalif with me today. And Omar, you've been candidate for school board twice so far, and you've been very involved in your community. So what's happening out in the Bayview these days? Well, what I can say what's happening in the Bayview these days are it's a lot of new beginnings uh, begin to take place here. We are currently in the process of having, not currently right now, but we're in the process of gearing up for district elections here in the Bayview. For supervisor? Uh, yeah, for, for supervisor. And then quite naturally, there's also the school board races that are coming up again. So one may throw his or her name in a hat or not. Right. And, and so so that's what's happening now. I think what we have now in the Bayview is we have more of an awareness, you know, via the, you know, the, elect, the electronic media and all of the social media. So we have a more of an awareness that's taking place, uh, a grassroots campaign to uh, really reach out to the people in the Bayview to really share some of the firsthand information as opposed to wait to hear it and read it in the Chronicle, the Examiner. The supervisor in District 10, Sophie Maxwell, has termed out. So yes. you need to have a new person elected to the Board of Supervisors. Right. There's been some talk that Hydra Mendoza, who is currently on the school board, who lives in District 10, might run in that district. Have you seen anything to that extent yet? Uh, no, not at all. I think it's probably a lot of people just floating, floating up false balloons, just trying to see what sticks. Because again, because of the the void of leadership that's been allowed to fester here in in, in the black community, and so, you know, that's just kind of how it happens. Well, you have people who are very active in the community, not necessarily running for office in the past, like. Ed Donaldson, who is uh, in one of the city-related organizations that take care of mortgages and putting people in homes. Now, I see he's very active in his regular work, but does that tend to lead to extra exposure towards maybe running for supervisor? I would hope so because, again, I, 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 you know, sometimes Ed and I have conversations and I share with him, you know, the history of San Francisco has never elected an African American man to the Board of Supervisors, and the country has never, never. It's never been an African American man elected, only appointed, and all of our leadership from that point on has just been, you know, females. So I have to ask you. You have to really ask yourself the question: Why? You know. So if Ed is okay, doing why? It, I, I, I that, hey, I would love to know that question myself. Why hasn't it happened? Well, it would be logical to have an African-American man. Ed Donaldson is a possibility because development is a large part of what's going to happen in District 10 over the next 10 or 15 years. Correct, correct. And and, and again, with me, Stan, it's not necessarily whether it's Ed or anybody else. I'm just looking for a person who I believe has the leadership capabilities and the quality. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, white, black, gray, green, or whatever. I just, it's just time for this community to have some real leadership that's not coming from downtown, the, you know, the development interests. You know, and, and we understand that Willie Brown is the, a major player in all of this, who have more than less handpicked all of the African-American leadership in the city. And ergo, here we are, the African-American community, wondering why we're running out of here like hell, out of San Francisco. Well, you're time for a new development to occur and a new right. generation to step in, and it's perfectly reasonable for the people in the community to select their own leaders. Exactly. And, and again, because, you know, it, so much has been said that the African American, African American community is not involved, but more or less, they are very involved. They just choose to stay away from the bullshit. And there's been a lot of that going on. Well, they demographics of your district has changed over the last few years and you've had a lot of African Americans move out and uh, a lot of uh, Chinese people move in and mm. some Caucasians. 
Right, right. So, so the complexion, so to speak, is changing. Well, the complexion is changing, but let's look at the complexion of the Board of Supervisors. You know, in each district is always the same type of a representative from that district. And, and I often say this is the last four years for anything black in Bayview, and that's just the, the honest truth. So the, the next leadership would be, are you the one who's willing to drive that nail in the coffin for redevelopment and seal the faith of black America, black African Americans here in San Francisco? So that's that's the next thing. And then so when the next in four years out, when the next election comes around, it'd be like, well, hey, that was a deal that was cut 20 years ago. I wasn't here. I didn't know anything about it. I had nothing to do with it. And progression, you know, continues on. So, I mean, again, if you're aware of that, so and I'm not anti anything. I'm pro development. I'm pro community. I'm pro everything. And so but if that's the case, then let's figure out and find a way. How do we help to usher in this new beginning and this this new succession or this new change as opposed to sitting here trying to fight for some shit that happened in the 60s? That is not, you know, relevant to today's model. I'm, I am one of those who are really tired of the handout. What's the chances these days for the next election in District 10 for getting somebody elected who represents the community and is of the community? Well, I, I not only want them to represent the community of District 10, but I want them to represent the community of San Francisco. I want them to be able to be versed enough in the language and the, the abilities to see bigger than District 10. So I think we do have, uh, again, I'm only supporting that uh, at this point in time, I, I'm, I want to go with the, the black man, the male. <laughs> <laughs> Women not, need not apply. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time today, Omar. This was really good. I hope we can do some more of these in the future.